Don't bother me, Outlander. I don't need a mercenary, I need a miracle. Someone who can tell me who slaughtered my men. I'm a good tracker. Maybe I can help. What happened? Mass murder. That's what. Five night guards shredded like cabbage out there in the quarry. Five men murdered? How? Don't know. One was a buddy from before the liberation. We worked this quarry together as slaves for the Mad King. My friend, may he walk forever in the light, knew how to fight. Fiends who did this must have had stealth or numbers. Could machines have killed them? Don't see how. The quarry is fenced and gated, and I've never seen a glint hawk do anything like this. Anything strike you as strange or out of the ordinary? Well, let's see, uh... Oh yeah, chunks of corpses, gushing blood. <sighs> Sorry. Pressure's getting to me. Not used to murder. Nah, nothing unusual. Well, except we've been doing a little blasting lately, and Saravad said... No, that's just stupid. You've been using explosives? Sure! To clear away bedrock and get to the good stuff, we do it for a week or so every year. But that's got nothing to do with the dead. They were... torn apart, not blown up! What exactly did Saravad say? Ah, nothing. Kept babbling about a pile of rocks out there. Said he didn't remember it from yesterday. I told him that this here is a quarry, where we move rocks all day. So rocks getting moved ain't so surprising, lunkhead. I'll have a look around the quarry. If you think it'll help. Oh, wonderful! Explosives. Corey's been doing a lot of blasting. this mound come from? You're a big one, aren't you?
can get out of this. Blast. I've never seen a machine like that. Whoa! Nor a hunter so bold. Take this. It's from the quarry stores, but no one's gonna argue that you don't deserve it. May you walk in the light, friend. Especially when dealing with what comes up from the ground. It's a bit frivolous, isn't it? You're Aloy, aren't you? Everyone's talking about your victory at Devil's Grief. I, I feel blessed to stand in your presence. There's no need to fuss over me. Who are you praying for? My, my sister, Nicola. She went north to find a Karja officer called Zaid, one of the captains of the Red Raids. I'm worried about her. Did the Matriarchs really give Nicola permission to leave? No. They refused her. But nothing could stop her from going after Zaid. He... He murdered our father during the Red Raids. Nikoa saw it happen. Hid in the cellar and forced herself to watch. It changed her. You could have gone with her. Leave the sacred land and be purged from all mother's eternal memory? No. I begged Nikoa to stay so she could avoid that fate. She said she didn't care. I don't know. Will she really be cursed for avenging our father? It seems... cruel. I lived in the Embrace during the Red Raids. What was it like out here? <laughs> for ten years, the Karja attacked without warning. Devils like Zaid butchered braves and kidnapped civilians for blood sacrifice. It all ended when the mad Sun King died. The matriarchs say his son wants to set things right. But that wasn't enough for Nicole. I'll keep an eye out for her. Oh, Mother, bless you. I know the matriarchs won't let her return to the sacred lands, but I just need to know that she's all right. She must have passed through Mother's Crown. My Aunt Salai lives there. They might have spoken. Maybe she can tell you more. All Mother, heal my prayer.
This must be Mother's crown. So I should be around here somewhere. Be safe with me. Whatever happens to me. Some things are beyond me. Are you Salai? Jan said your niece may have come through here. Nakoa. I I've got nothing to say about that. Please, I only want to help. I'm a seeker headed north. Jan wanted me to help find her. Anything you tell me stays between us. I... I gave her supplies for the journey. She was headed for Day Tower looking for Zaid. Nothing I could say would stop her. Is there anything you can tell me about Day Tower? It's a Karja fort, right at the border. Bastards used to gather Nora captives there, so they could ship them to Meridian for slaughter. I told Nikoa not to go. What's a lone Nora gonna do there? But she wouldn't listen. All she can think about is finding Zaid. What do you know of Zaid? He's a rabid animal, a murderer. The worst of the Red Raiders. Killed my brother while poor Nikoa watched from the shadows. Even as I begged her not to go, part of me wanted her too. I need him dead as much as she does. You can't imagine what it's like. He... He mutilated my brother. And yet he walks free among the Karja. I understand. Better than you think. I'll look for Nakoa when I reach Day Tower. She can't come back. The Matriarchs won't allow it. But I'd be so grateful if you could find her and help her if she needs it. And please, keep this between us. I will. I promise. Whoever's in charge here might know if Nakoa came through. Buy what you need, leave the rest. Are you in charge here? No, that would be Captain Balan. I'm his second in command, Prefect Zaid. Wait, you're Zaid? Ah, you've heard of me. Let me ease your mind. There seem to be wild stories about me among your tribe. But the Nora have me mistaken for someone else. I'm not sure where the fault lies, but the fog of war often breeds confusion. Unfortunately, some refuse to acknowledge the error. So it was with the last Nora who came through here. So you deny participating in the Red Raids? No, I didn't say that. I did have a role in those operations, albeit a very limited one. But all this nonsense about torture and murder, that wasn't me. They have me confused with some other commander. I don't doubt some of my comrades did bad things, but Sun King of Ad has worked hard to eliminate such brutality. The last Nora who came through here. You mean Nikoa? Is that her name? Oh well. It was a very unfortunate situation. She attacked me in broad daylight. If one of my men hadn't spotted her, I might well have been injured, but we were able to subdue her without harm. What did you do with her? I let her go, of course. It was clear she thought I was responsible for unspeakable things. So, in a sense, her actions were justifiable. I explained that she was wrong, then sent her on her way. Sadly, I don't think she believed me. Where is Nakoa now? I don't know exactly. She left raving that she would find a way to bring me down. But I did hear a report from the garrison at Lonesome Rock that a young woman had been abducted by bandits. Might have been her. You've really gone out of your way to help, Prefect Said. It's no trouble. The Sun King wishes to make amends with your people, and I am his humble servant. I'll go to Lonesome Rock and get to the bottom of this. I promise you that. You do that. And if our men are anything less than helpful, please let me know.
Can't be too prepared. me. Hold, Outlander! What are you doing here? Hunting. I've been tracking a sawtooth for the better part of a day. Well, you must have lost the scent, because we haven't seen any round here. Now be on your way. And quickly. Well, they don't want to talk, so let's see if they're hiding something. in the cart. She's snooping around. Ah! Wrap her up and tie her down, Cut boy. Cut deep! Run for cover! See what Zayed's hiding out here. Not just chains, manacles. They were moving prisoners somewhere.
save these for the trail. Tracks lead to that compound. Maybe Nakoa's inside. That Nora girl we got in the hole is nice and lean. Don't get ideas. Zaid says hands off or it'll let her price it off. Sounds like Nakoa's here. And I'm going to have to cut through these guards to get to her. Company. I know you're out there. What do we got? Anyone see anything? Still sniffing around. I survived! I'd have to ditch something. Got too much already. Prisoners. Chained up. Nikoa? Jan sent me. Look, we can talk more once we get everyone out of this pit. Jan sent you? I don't believe it. Well, I guess one of his prayers finally worked. I've got the key. 
I'll help the others. Let's go. I knew you were going to be trouble, girl. But you'll make it worth our while in the end. The end is now, Zaid. For you and your men. You gave him a quicker death than he deserved? My father was a hunter. He taught me every animal deserves a clean kill. How did Zaid capture you? I tried to get him at Day Tower, but he caught me. Then let me go so he could have his men grab me later. And... after? Said he was gonna sell me into slavery like the other poor bastards that came through here week to week. But he took his time, kicked me around whenever he stopped by. Guess me trying to kill him hurt his pride. You've been through a lot. I'm fine. Are you sure? Zaid's dead. I was ready to go through anything to make that happen. And I did. How did Zaid come to run a ring of slavers? All the scum you just killed? They butchered for Zaid during the Red Raids. The new Sun King kicked them out of the army, but Zaid managed to lie his way out of trouble, then saw a new way to make a shard, putting his grunts to work here. What are you gonna do now? The others were in that cellar for months. The more run down they got, the harder it was for Zaid to sell them. They need food, rest, and hope. I'll take them to Meridian and tend to them. You're not even going to try to go back? What about Jan? The Matriarchs won't let me back. Even if they would, I wouldn't go. They can burn for all I care. As for Jan, I know a way to get word to him. I'll miss that runt. But at least he'll know I'm safe. Time for me to go. Look, I don't even know your story. It must be a good one if they gave you the mark of a seeker. If you ever feel like telling it, look me up in Meridian. I'll be there until the others get back up on their feet. Until then, thank you for helping me cut this rot from the world. I don't know. Maybe now I can put Zaid behind me and remember my father as I should. Forget about traveling light. Free. Nicole was all that kept me going. I thought... I thought we were dead.
But the Cohen never gave up hope. Should give me the upper hand. As soon as the others are ready, we'll head for Meridian. Thanks again. leave something else behind. Water tastes of <laughs> moisture. 